Do you not know that the evil ones know the timing of my second coming? They know about the Shemitah. They know about the timing of sorrows. They know when they intend to sign the peace treaty, daughter. They know when they intend to sign the peace treaty, daughter. They know when they intend to sign the peace treaty, daughter. The only thing they do not know is when I am coming to remove my ambassadors. The only thing they do not know is when I am coming to remove my ambassadors. They do know that I must come and take you before the day they have scheduled to sign their treaty. They do know that I must come and take you before the day they have scheduled to sign their treaty. They do know that I must come and take you before the day they have scheduled to sign their treaty. Before the day they open the final portal of the abyss. Before the orchestrated collapse of their current systems into collapse of their current systems into the new world order. Daughter, the evil ones have been around since the days of my beloved Enoch. They know me. They know my word. They know all things except when my ambassadors are departing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Rapture happens the day before peace treaty is signed. You've seen that video clip. I had a video clip uh, in previous videos quite a few times, but it doesn't seem people get the message in that video clip. And I repeated it several times uh, on, on certain words so that you get the real meaning of that message. This is a true uh, message from Jesus himself to this lady. And I'm telling you, it lines up with scripture and the word. When you receive a word from uh, a word, or you get an unction of the word, that word has to line up with scripture. Yes, rapture happens the day before the peace treaty is signed. Ever since 2016, 2016, Trump was already proclaiming an ultimate deal to end the Palestinian conflict during his president, uh, presidential campaign. Since he took office, a trio composed of his son-in-law, uh, Jared Kushner, Jason Greenblatt, long-time confidant and chief legal officer to Trump's uh, business empire, uh, uh, the U.S. ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, had been working on such a plan. Yeah, now, the USA department, however, has not uh, been involved, but Donald Trump directly has been involved. U.S. Uh, press President Donald Trump has announced a deal of the century to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The plan is to be revealed at an undetermined listen to that day. Um, I, I also, uh, sorry to interrupt there, I would like to discuss quite a few things that really concern me about Watchmen, you know. And the plan of the enemy is actually to wear out the body of Christ. Yes, they know when they, uh, they w w want to sign the peace treaty. Donald Trump also said that uh, in the previous discussions that he even thinking of uh, postponing it towards 2000, uh, the end of 2020. He said it, I mentioned it in a previous uh, conversation in one, uh, one of the videos. He personally said that. He even personally said that the March elections, the March elections will be another stalemate as well. But it's amazing, he is also involved in the March. I don't know how far that uh, a judge... Uh, Allow, will allow him to be, be part of the elections. I haven't uh, hear anything from that, but as soon as I do hear, I will uh, let you know about it. But his impeachment is also involved. So they all have uh, had the plans. 
Um, while the detail remains a well-kept secret, the U.S. administration's uh, uh, re uh, re uh, re record to date suggests that the initiative will prioritize Israel's interest over Palestinian rights. Now, uh, Netanyahu, Netanyahu and Gantz will be, Netanyahu and Gantz will travel to, uh, to Washington this coming Tuesday to discuss uh, uh, the, the peace plan with Donald Trump. Now, he said, that's Donald Trump, he will release the peace plan even before they get to Washington. I'm telling you, Donald Trump is playing with uh, playing with words. He is, he, he got you mind boggling with, uh, with thoughts. Since 2017, every time the peace plan has been postponed, they know they cannot sign that peace, that peace treaty, that uh, plan uh, with many. The, the covenant with many. And I'm telling you, Donald Trump is the person who will sign the covenant with many. I'm telling you, and people do not see it. There is no other person. It is not, it is not uh, um, Princess, Princess Harry or his brother or Macron or uh, what is the Turkey uh, 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 Prime Minister it's none of them. Daniel, let me, Daniel 7 verse 20, identify the man to the letter T. He is more stout, bigger than his counterparts, and that doesn't fit the Pope at all. The Pope belongs to Revelation 17 verse 3, the harlot. Okay, so... Obama even tried to have Obama seek to pay the way to the Middle East deal. And after he leaves office, that was in 2016, it did not succeed. It will not succeed until God allows it. And the uh, Thessalonians, Thessalonians 2, um, uh, verse uh, Two, three makes it clear the revealing already took place. The revealing of, of the man of sin, the revealing of the two beasts is already in place. And they only have full power, only a full power once the restrainer is being removed. They have been revealed. Donald Trump is the Jewish Messiah. Messiah. He has to pass a, f a few tests before they will fully accept him. But he already appeared on their temple coin, people. Yes, so uh, there you see it. But uh, what that lady said, what that lady said really st stru struck me there. And she said that the, uh, they already have their detailed peace treaty plan in place. And they, they, the only day they do not know is the day when uh, uh, Jesus will come and uh, come fetch us. But they have their uh, peace treaty ready. They have it ready for the day. And they know that Jesus Christ will come the day before they uh, sign that uh, peace treaty. And um, what concerns me is that um, watchmen, many watchmen, are dealing in witchcraft, in predictive programming. You cannot deal into predictive programming of the, yeah, of the enemy. It's not going to work, people. Here is one. I follow Jacob uh, Prince, and I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him. It's right on the side. Don't... It's not a shame. You say this in service. Lady, a latest video, uh, which could also be the last. It could be the last. Looking at how the enemy predictor programming has been showing us exactly what is currently happening in the world, especially concerning the deal of the century and Brexit. You listen to what he says. 
it would seem that our enemy Satan expects us to be gone before uh, before February before February blessings people and well, 50 even more I just signed that on now uh, are all liking it and loving it going into the enemy's predictive programming is against against the word of God there itself he said it personally this man asked him where do you come up with your with your speculation and he said i've been studying the predictive programming uh, that our uh, that our enemy uses to show his plans to the people of god without them knowing it for many many years he, uh, he has clearly showed us his plan to have brexit and the deal of the century in which jerusalem will be divided People, Jerusalem will not be divided. I'm telling you, Donald Trump is not that. Uh, uh, because you know why? They will not divide uh, uh, Jerusalem. The elite wants Jerusalem for themselves, people. They want Jerusalem for themselves. Why would they want to divide it? That is why Donald Trump declared Jerusalem as the capital city. Not to... Uh, 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 he has a motive behind why he uh, do it. He de declared the Golan Heights as ledger to, to Israel. They going to rule from Jerusalem the last three in our uh, last 3.5 years and that is a fact people don't you see it wake up wake up my heart cries my heart cries at the deception of Donald Trump to the believers in Christ I can only pray people I can only pray and ask God to speak to people. Do not be involved with predictive programming. There, we, uh, uh, Holy Spirit, we have the gift of discernment and ask Lord, Lord will reveal it to you. The Word reveals it to you. you know? And it's not going to happen uh, just at any month. It's going to happen at God's appointed time. And I already said it in a previous meeting, 2020 is five, nine, and three years from the creation day on, on Yom Tura. The Yom Tura, uh, Adam, Adam has been created on Yom Tura. Jesus has been born on Feast of Trumpets. Uh, uh, Adam sent on Yom Tura, uh, on Feast of Trumpets. As the, the uh, uh, coronation of the kings is on Feast of Trumpets. Jesus began his ministry on, uh, uh, on uh, Yom Kippur, that is just after uh, uh, um, the head year, uh, normally when there is a jubilee, and Jesus came on the 8th year of jubilee, and therefore uh, um, the, that feast, that feast, uh, the uh, uh, jubilee was uh, uh, transferred to Yom Kippur, uh, uh, Yom, Yom Turua is the head of the uh, head of the feast. He is the head. And he says for yourself, Leviticus 25 verse 8, And thou shalt number seven sevens of the year unto thee, seven times sevens a year, and the space of seven sabbaths of the year shall be unto the fourteen, uh, uh, unto the fourteen nine years, and on the fiftieth year is a jubilee. And January to September, it's all time that we have people. This is a showdown is coming down on Rosh Hashanah. The day and hour, we, can, uh, we do not know. Jesus can come any time during the day. The Rosh Hashanah is known as the day, uh, the day and hour that we do not know. Uh, do not know of. And they may schedule that there. Peace treaty during uh, around this uh, this time they do not know the day and the time when when God is going to fetch his ambassadors. But what they're trying to do now is to wear out the body of Christ with 
all the happenings uh, around what you see right now with Brexit. It's all to do with their with with their with their, uh, with their plans. Don't go into the predictive uh, programming. It's not of God. It's not, yes, we must know what the enemy does, but God can show us uh, through the word what the enemy does. The enemy is like a roaring lion seeking you may be devoured, and you need to close the doors. You open doors to you if you are involved in, the, in predictive programming of the enemy, and that is a fact. You're going to miss the rapture. I'm telling you, if you do not repent, you're going to miss the rapture. So do repent. So those are my concerns uh, uh, that I wanted to address in this, this video. So do subscribe uh, to my uh, videos and please share these videos. It's very important, people. God bless.